My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am fantastic and I'm doing well, really well. Today I'm reviewing Jimmy Choo Man Intense. This is 72 pounds for 100 ml. The notes are lavender patchouli black pepper, honeydew melon, divana oil, that's very expensive. Amber tonka bean. Divana is a, it's a very interesting raw material. It's like a thick red raw material. It smells a bit like a woody, floral, fruity. It's very powerful when you have to use it in small amounts. It's very expensive. Do have a full size bottle of Jimmy Choo Man Intense. I'm engaged with a high self. Let's get testing. No escaping that, is there? So I like the pepper note. I'm dealing with pepper at the moment, I'm dealing with pink pepper and black pepper, and I don't like black pepper. I like pink pepper. Pink pepper works better with florals and works better with citruses. Black pepper's more with woods. They're really good. This is really good. So this is a really classic fougere being updated. So you absolutely can smell the Isu Super in just the base. Really good, very nice. Uh, what I can say really. The problem is with these cheap ones is they tend to dissipate very fast. Now there is some um, violet nuances in this and they're using a raw material I was working with last week. I can't remember what it's called and it gives a green violety feel. Begins with you. This is radiant, green, spicy with the pepper. The lavender gives a nice herbaceous quality to it. it has some smoothness to it. And smoothness is the um, the sort of the violety sort of feel to it. And what I found with working with violet, that's what I was doing last week. Violet the whole week. I don't know if I'm going to release it, but I was just working with it. Just lots of ideas. If you use these violet raw materials with woods, you get this sort of feel. If you apply violet with uh, ethyl vanilla and vanilla and ethyl maltol, you get a real uh, crunchy palmer violet nana feel to it. But violet, and these sort of violet, it's because under something, violet raw materials combined with woods give a smoothness and give the feeling of sort of violet leaf. And when you combine that with acetate, you get that green feel. That's what I was experimenting with last week. I just say my job's very interesting because I'm generally working on my own which you would expect for someone with Asperger's in my lab and I'm just mixing stuff together and seeing what it does. I'm sort of constantly experimenting. Hours and hours and hours and hours experimenting, mixing this, mixing this, mixing this. Constantly, quite quiet and diligent working on sort of micro experiments, I'd say. Dilutions and mixing and this and the other. The greenness and the violet combined with sort of the backbone and the sort of the pepper is really nice. I do like this sort of smoothness to it. This is really smooth, very interesting. And I think that if you are different and unique and you want a fresh fragrance, this is absolutely for you. But I don't think it's particularly mass appealing, but it's been built in a mass appealing way. That does make sense to you. I love the smoothness and I love in fragrances when you can create the feeling of smoothness, velvetiness. That's so interesting, isn't it? It's the way that a fragrance can be smooth, round, blue, all these sort of terms, I sort of, I feel them, but I think it's sort of quite interesting how a fragrance, like this makes me think of smoothness, velvetiness, whip sort of smoothness. And then you have other fragrances that sort of feel like you're walking in the beach or you are in a forest. Isn't that amazing the way the brain is connected to this sort of thing? It has a radiance to it as well as the hedion, the acetate sink, it's clean, so the clean white nitro musks. Instantly, some of your comment on my finger and I have learned in my uh, learning about Asperger's that this is a thing which we do. And I do it to music and I do it, uh, the music brain, which used to be lots of instruments, is connected to the perfumery brain. So this, what you're seeing, is me almost like conducting the notes. That's the only way I can say it. And when I like something, you see the sort of the light fingers. And when I don't like it, my hands become sort of quite rigid. And there really is in these reviews, I've noticed a real subconscious element. And I think uh, you, my friends, have seen it. 
because I can't hide, I'm so honest. Oh, this arm. On to my final thoughts. This is really good. It's a green fragrance that's been smooth, which I think is so important. And green fragrances, like that awful Tom Ford one, uh, were just so green and so crunchy and horrible that it becomes unpalatable. If you're gonna do a green, clean fragrance, this is how to do it. So I'm gonna go through my marks if you. My first four marks are for technical ability, whether the box is legal and safe and complies and the raw materials that are safe and legal and you're not gonna burn all that stuff. Absolutely affordable. The price um, for 100 mil, 100 pounds with it, and 50 mil, 50 pounds. Yeah, I think that's sort of it's a cheap piece. So I think yes. Do I like it? Um, I can appreciate it, but I don't like uh, overly fresh fragrances that are not based out. And in my mind, this absolutely needs to be based out and given some sort of depth to it. And it's, to me, it's again, unfortunately primarily aroma chemicals with some naturals in and some sort of cheap citruses to help push it it's missing out in the sort of woods and this would be fantastic with uh, sandwood and uh, vertiver uh, they to me would smooth it those heavy herbaceous notes help to anchor it a little bit more and sort of smooth it out and then i think the marks we've got massively it's very radiant though do like it that sort of radiance of the skin is very very nice and i think that's sort of what people want isn't it to sort of smell clean and fresh and interesting that's what people like but it's not for me i marks is a seven out of ten i think it's okay uh, but as i said it's uh, lacking a little bit of interest and it's really needing some naturals pushed into it but that is obviously very personal so my friends i hope you love that review thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating interesting content Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. I hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.